<sighs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Propway. This video is sponsored by Happy Run. I'll tell you a little more about their latest model, the G60, later in this video. So today's video is going to be something that we haven't done in a while. I'm going to do an unboxing and a review of a prop that was gifted to me. I did not make this prop. And that prop, as you can see in the title and the thumbnail, is... Yeah. Boom. Captain America's shield. And my sister and brother-in-law gave this to me and I am super grateful for it. And just to be clear, there are two versions of the shield that you can buy at Disney World. At least two high-end versions. The first one is the Marvel Legends series, and it is the Falcon and Winter Soldier version. I think they also actually have the um, Captain Carter version. This one is not the Marvel Legends series. This one specifically is Disney's version, and I believe you can only get it through like Disney shops. I'm super excited, and I'm gonna open this thing up. But first, we're gonna take a quick look around the box just to look at some of the cool graphics. As you can see, it says Vibranium Shield. It shows it in a couple different languages. And what's really cool about this one, and I don't think they have this for any other version, it comes with a leather carrying case. And that is just so cool because it's very accurate to the movies, specifically uh, at the end of Avengers Endgame when Steve Rogers gives the shield to, to Sam. It comes in that brown case. You have the image of the shield. And the whole box kind of theme is like a big metal, heavy duty metal case, which is pretty cool. On the back side, another graphic here. And this one says carrying case, uh, it's a 24 inch shield motion-based effects. On this shield, there is a little speaker on the back and that does play some sound effects. We're gonna take a closer look at that once we open it. And that really is the box. Uh, so now, let us open up this Captain America shield. To open this thing up, right from the top, we have a big piece of styrofoam here. And here we have the beautiful Captain America shield. Oh my gosh, and this thing is heavy. This thing is very heavy actually. And I believe this box right here should be the carrying case. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the carrying case at the end of this. I'm gonna go over the shield first. And my goodness, the first, my first impression of this is that this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. It's real metal and it definitely has the weight of real metal. The metallic paint job on it is just absolutely gorgeous. Man, I could just stare at this thing all day because of the way that it reflects the light. You can see that kind of brushed metal look, which I personally love that look, especially on shields and armor. So that's that front side. Now going to the back side, you can see it looks just like Captain America's shield. Well, the only thing that would be different than a real shield is that there is this big speaker and it looks like this is what kind of plays those sounds. We'll go over some of that later, but this thing is just super hefty. Looks like there's some real metal buckles here. And you can carry it just like Captain America. This thing has such a good weight to it. It's like, it's definitely not a toy. This is 100% a, uh, a display piece or a cosplay piece. You're not gonna wanna, you know, swing this around or throw it at people because it's, I'm gonna guess maybe, maybe 10 pounds? This is probably like maybe eight, seven or eight pounds. All right, so that is the Captain America shield. Uh, I'm gonna actually now Turn the on switch on the speaker and see what happens. Okay, so nothing happens. It might be, I think it's a motion sensor. So when you move it, it'll start to make sounds. So let's try. There you go, you hear that? You definitely have those metallic kind of vibranium sound effects of throwing it and catching it. So that's a, that's a nice touch. Okay, so I'm gonna go over some first impressions. This thing, Aesthetically on the outside, perfect. I, I'd give it honestly a 10 out of 10. At first glance, it looks like it's perfect movie quality. I love the red and blue, that metallic color to it and that brushed metal look. And going to the back side, I absolutely love the leather straps on there. It looks just like the real thing. And now the one downside I have to say to this is that the sound effects are cool. In my opinion, I don't think it was necessary. I think it would have been a lot cooler if that wasn't there, because then you'd really feel like it's a real Captain America shield. You know, Captain America shield is not gonna have a sound effects maker on it. But if you're displaying this thing from the front side, no one's ever gonna see it. Now I do see some screws on this, so perhaps you're actually able to unscrew this and take this whole thing off. I'm gonna actually try that at the end of this video to see if that's possible. So now I'm gonna set this down and I'm gonna open up the carrying case. Before we open up that carrying case, let's quickly talk about Happy Run's new electric bike. Do you guys remember that black bike that I used for my Batman Batpod video? That was the Happy Run G50. 
Well, good news, Happy Run has another amazing model, the G60. With its sleek design and powerful performance, this two-wheeled marvel is here to revolutionize your daily commute. Its powerful 1500 watt electric motor can take you to speeds up to 31 miles per hour, but speed isn't the only thing that makes the G60 stand out. The improved rugged aesthetic will turn heads wherever you go, and the advanced suspension system can adapt to any surface whether you're navigating busy streets, conquering challenging terrains, or simply enjoying a leisurely ride. Embrace the future of transportation and upgrade your ride with the Happy Run G60. Visit happyrunsports.com today. I'm gonna pull this out right now. And this is a leather circular carrying case for Captain America's shield. Let's put this off to the side. So we have this brown leather carrying case here. And right off the bat, the color does seem to be a little lighter than I was expecting. I believe from the movie, it's a bit of a darker brown. Um, but that's just me nitpicking and being a big nerd. But as you can see, it's just a nice big circle with a zipper on the top. So let's unzip that. And here we have some paper on the inside. Now the outside does feel like a, possibly like a faux leather, but there is a layer of maybe a foam on the inside that gives it a bit of padding so that when you put the shield in here, it's not gonna be, you know, denting anything and should be pretty well protected with that foam. But the case is a super nice touch to it. I've looked up the price for this shield and it is not cheap. Obviously adding this carrying case makes that price a little better. Depending on where you live and depending on what store you get it from, I wanna say the shield is approaching the $400 range, kind of within that ballpark. But honestly, for something that looks as good as this, that comes with a carrying case, an official Disney licensed product, I don't think that price is all that ridiculous. I know for the Marvel Legends series, that shield is probably, when it first came out, might have been around 120. It might be more expensive now. But that shield, in my opinion, does not come close to how good this one looks. I think that Marvel Legends shield looks a little bit more plasticky and kind of more like a toy. Uh, compared to this where it has a legit metal sheen to it. So I'm going to try putting the shield inside of the case just to see how that fits. That, oh, okay. It's like a perfect fit. There's no, no leeway in there. Let's zip that up. And now you have a packed up Captain America case that you can take with you wherever you're gonna go, whether it's to a con or whether you're filming a movie just to have a cool look to it. I don't know any other shields on the market that come with a carrying case like this, so definitely a big plus for me. Very nice feel to it, very uh, sturdy handle, very thick handle. You know, you can walk to work with this thing. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a screwdriver and see if I can't take out those screws and we are gonna Try to open this thing up. Okay, so by the looks of it, after removing this top cover, there is a way to remove this speaker, which I'm super glad they designed this in. There are a couple screws here that looks like I need to remove, and then this little bracket will slide right out. Slide this out, just like that. Perfect. Remove this. And remove this bracket. This is a little rubber gasket to keep it in there and boom, we have removed, we have successfully removed that speaker from this shield and now I think it looks 10 times better and 10 times more, you know, like the real Captain America. So that right there honestly took this shield from like eight and a half to a 10 for me. I didn't like the look of that speaker on there. I think it made it feel more like a kid's toy as opposed to a real collectible item. But now that we have that off, the back of this shield looks just like the real thing. Front side, oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. This thing is gorgeous. I mean, just holding this thing makes me feel so powerful. I, I don't even know if I wanna display this thing. I feel like I wanna go out there and walk around the streets holding this thing because it looks so good. So that was my quick and dirty unboxing and review of the Captain America shield from Disney. Again, this is definitely a higher end Captain America shield. This is not something you would buy for, you know, a toy or anything like that. This is something you're definitely going to want to display or cosplay with. It has leather straps on the back to hold on to. And of course, the price on this thing makes it a higher end product. I received this as a gift, so I'm not complaining too much about the price, of course. But for any of you that are looking to get a shield like this, there are other options out there. 
I'm just reviewing this specific one and I definitely would recommend this. That is my review on the Captain America shield. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.